Disassembly tips. Ensure that you take the following precautions when disassembling a unit. Label each cable as you remove it, noting its position and routing. This will make replacing the cables much easier and will ensure that the cables are rerouted properly. Keep all screws with the component removed, if applicable. The screws used in each component can be of different thread sizes and lengths. Using the wrong screw in a component could damage the unit. If the unit contains light-sensitive components such as motherboard, memory module, CPU, hard disk drive, graphic card store the component in its original ESD packaging to avoid damage. Please read the description below for more details about tools used to removal and replacement, static electricity. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, right trunk, right support bracket, right fan, left trunk, left support bracket, left fan, I.O. board, system board, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display support bracket. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable for later replacement. Partially remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the two 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel to the display enclosure. Important. The display panel is held in place by two strips of stretch release tape. Each tape strip has a plastic pull tab attached to one end. One at a time, grasp the pull tab of each strip of tape and carefully wrap it around the end of a cylindrical tool, such as a screwdriver or pencil. Slowly twist the tool to release the tape. Continue twisting until the entire strip has been removed. Remove the six 3.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the display panel hinges to the display enclosure. Lift the display panel hinges off of the alignment pins on the display enclosure and remove. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Lift the display panel off of its alignment pins and place it face down in front of the display enclosure. Caution! Take care not to scratch the display panel screen. Peel back the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the display panel and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the display panel. Remove the display panel. Replacement. Important. The display panel is held in place by two strips of stretch release tape. Each tape strip has a plastic pull tab attached to one end. Remove the adhesive backing from the left stretch release tape strip. Align the edges of the strip with the left display panel hinge on the display enclosure. Place the strip into position on the left side of the display enclosure, ensuring that the tab on the bottom end of the strip will not be covered up when the display panel is replaced. Apply pressure to the length of the strip to adhere it into place. To place the right strip of stretch release tape, follow the same steps on the right side of the display enclosure. Remove the release paper from both stretch release tape strips. Place the display panel face down in front of the display enclosure. Caution! Take care not to scratch the display panel screen. Insert the display panel cable into its connector on the display panel and replace the retention tape. Place the display panel into position between the display panel hinges. Carefully press down the display panel to adhere it to the display enclosure. Replace the two 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel to the display enclosure. Place the display panel hinges onto the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Replace the six 3.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the display panel hinges to the display enclosure. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the display enclosure. Route the wireless antenna cables through the routing channel on the display enclosure. Thanks for watching.
Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.